Hello there my friends, good to have you along. I'm all dolled up but it doesn't matter because we're going to do a quick video showing you how to scratch build some yard lamps for your model railway layout. Now these will work really well on uh, anything from the small shunting layout like grocery yard that we've been doing a series on but also on bigger layouts like Trinity Road and uh, this is dead easy to do and what we're actually building it out of is all the scrap little bits and pieces that you always get left over from the signalling kits. Now we built an awful lot of these for Trinity Road in the shed and uh, by nature of uh, the customising of the signals you get tons of bits left over on the sprues. Now these are ratio kits but there are other manufacturers that do kits for signals but we're going to stick with the ratio kits here. Right first things first uh, we've got a few bits out of the bits box these are all the leftover bits of any old kits um, never throw anything away it's uh, always great to have these to hand because you can make so much out of them but tools wise we've got uh, a pair of wire clippers I use these for all the electrical work but they're also very good for clipping bits off the sprues we've got our trusty uh, liquid polystyrene cement uh, and uh, we use that as the bulk for gluing the plastic parts together but uh, we're going to be using some wire components in all of this so we've also got some uh, this is all-purpose adhesive that we're going to use for that uh, we've got a little sanding block with a bit of uh, sanding paper on we use that to smooth some of the plastic components down when we trim them and uh, a nice sharp box cutting knife any craft knife or Stanley knife will do uh, make sure it's a good sharp blade because you don't want to be bludgeoning the plastic pieces off because you're likely to damage them if you do that so if the blade gets blunt on these you snap it off use the next bit they're great for that very cheap and easy to get and also for handling some of the more intricate parts it's always handy to have yourself a little pair of tweezers there so that's our tools that we need and as you can see here we've got all of the the remaining sprues from all of those uh, ratio plastic signalling kits we've built all the signals that we can and these are the bits that are left over now this is the finished product bit of a blue peter moment here's one i made earlier and this is made entirely out of the scrap bits and pieces the post i'm going to show you that uh, where that came from in a moment but it's actually just a, a piece of sprue tidied up sanded with a sanding block we've used one of the spare bases that you get with these uh, plastic kits one of the spare ladders, some of the, the ladder brackets, they're all from the signalling kits and then we've bent a piece of wire to shape for the loop at the top. Now there isn't an actual light fitting in there because I haven't got a suitable piece to do that but uh, at the real Bolton Trinity Street there's still a couple of these left and they're, they're smashed up, not working and they're missing the light fittings anyway. We can always add those in at a later date. We've painted it all with Humbrol number 33 matte black but where we started from, this is the actual sprue that that's come from and you can see that that is a perfect fit to go back in there. So you can see there's one that we haven't taken that piece off. And what we're going to do is we just nibble that away with the wire clippers. Clip there, clip there and it looks a bit of a mess but we're going to nibble off all of these little bits we just clip 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 dead easy and then we're using the knife to trim some of these little bits off and we can finish up with the sandpaper just keep working and working until you've got a nice smooth pole shaped piece of plastic the ladder we can see there on the sprue we've got one of the spare ladders it's the perfect length to go with that length of sprue. We're just very carefully with that to remove it. We use the craft knife, run it down one side, down the other. Now be very gentle with this because these are quite fine mouldings and it's very easy to smash or break uh, the ladder as you do that. And then also look through some of these sprues. Let's see, there we are. On that we've got the little brackets that we need to hold the ladder away from the post. So we've got one on there that we'd use and let's have a look through some of these other bits, yeah. And there we have another that we can use on that bit of sprue. So really there's all the parts we need and um, in the, the spares box I'm going to have a good rummage around and uh, there we go. That's going to be the base that we're going to use. 
and uh, let's find a piece of wire that we need for the loop. Is that going to be, no that's not long enough. This is the wire that we'll be using, the type of wire. It's the stuff that comes with the ratio kits to make them operate. It's quite a thin wire as you can see there. It's dead easy to bend. But we need a longer piece than that. So let's see what else we can find. There we go. That's going to be long enough for our needs. When you come to do the wire at the top, you've built all of the rest of the structure. Put that to one side to let the uh, the liquid polystyrene cement set. And then to make that curved loop, what we're going to do is, over the skin at the top of your thumb, just draw the wire like that and keep drawing it. And what you're doing is you're putting a smooth bend into the wire and just gradually work that round and round. What you don't want to do is to try and bend it in little bits because you'll end up with a lot of kinks which you don't want. When you've worked that to approximately the right shape, wire cutters again, really good tool these, it will nibble its way through this wire with no problems whatsoever and uh, we can just work this loop, work this loop. Don't be frightened to, uh, if you've got it too long or too big, work it in a bit closer and you can nibble bits off the end as and when you need to. And then this we fasten to the top with the all-purpose adhesive. We can't use the liquid poly because obviously it will have no effect on the metal um, and it doesn't, it won't hold metal to plastic because the whole way that this works is it actually dissolves the plastic and makes it uh, almost like weld together. So we can see there on the finished article, we've glued that loop in. Now you may have to, what I did with this, is I propped it upright against another object that just stopped this from falling over as the glue sets. Now that is best to leave overnight before you paint it. Let me just run a bit of uh, the Humbrol Matte Black number 33 over all of that, let it dry, and then we can glue it onto the layout. Uh, this is going to go into Trinity Road out there in the shed and we're going to put it in the yard section um, and it'll look quite good with uh, the base covered up we we'll use some glue on there and we'll use some of the static grass fibers that we've got just to hide that big ugly base when we do glue it to the layout I personally recommend again using the all-purpose adhesive um, and there you have it a quick and simple project something you can do very quick and readily and using bits that would otherwise really just go in the bin. I hope you've enjoyed that and uh, I hope that's been useful to you in some way. How to recycle a few bits and pieces into something really useful for your layout. A good cheap little project. I built this uh, whilst watching the American Grand Prix go Sebastian Vettel. Not as good as last year's American Grand Prix but that's by the by. Anyway, you take very good care of yourself. Don't forget to tickle that like button because it really does love your attention. I hear it moaning to me at night going, oh yes, yes, again, 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 oh yes. And uh, don't forget to share this video. And uh, if you subscribe to the channel, you'll be the first to know new videos when they come up. And look back through for all those other videos that we've been doing. Anyway, I'm Jenny Kirk and you've been watching a video. Take care. Bye for now.